Hi everybody, Rob Redman here from Prior Studios and welcome to this video in which we're going to look at how to set up blend shapes in Maya. So I have here a very, very basic model. Um, I've stripped out a lot of the detail and just kind of patched over it just so we can concentrate um, on the important areas and so you can see it more clearly in the video. So first of all, what is a blend shape? Uh, blend shapes are duplicates of an original mesh which you can then translate various areas of and rotate and sculpt and change um, in order to kind of take that information and as the name suggests blend it back onto the original uh, and the, the joy of doing it this way rather than using bones and things and painting weights is that you can mix and match and you can do as many or as few as you like and it's a really simple, easy process to use. So to actually create one, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this mesh and we'll just, let's come into our attribute editor and let's just rename this uh, Morph Base Mesh. I think that's probably fine, so that's okay. We'll leave that as that name. We're going to hit Control D to make a copy. We'll see that there's now a copy. If I drag this over to the side, now, you can move your copies around so that you can see what you're doing more clearly. Um, this is always gonna be the one that we use to animate. So it doesn't matter where you put these. The only thing you need to stick to is that the point count is the same. So you have the same amount of vertices on each copy you make. And that ensures that the, the blend shape will actually work. So I'm gonna create two. So I'm going to go back to this first one, Control D and make a second copy. Uh, if I just take that first one let's go to attributes here and I'll just call this we'll call this one uh, sneer that's fine and the second one can be grumpy I'll call that grumpy that'll do and that just gives me a, a reference as I'm working so let's concentrate on this first one and I'm just going to go into my modeling toolkit I'm going to use vertis mode and I don't want symmetry on. I'm gonna keep my soft selections on. I think that could be quite useful for this. Um, but what I don't want to do is if I was to grab, say this point here, let's just make sure I'm in the right mode. I think this is left on from last time. Uh, so if we have our soft selection settings open, um, you can see here it's set to surface. So by default, it's set to volume. So if you find you're having unexpected results, make sure that you swap from volume to surface or, or backwards. Because sometimes if you're set on surface and you grab a point, you end up with weird intersections like this. So this is what was happening to me. Uh, hopefully you can see that. So that the, the inner parts of the mouth are intersecting with the cheek, which you don't want. And if that happens, just go back to volume and that shouldn't happen anymore because it's it's taking a kind of a spherical fall off rather than flat across the polygons that you're manipulating. Anyway, that's kind of not the point of this tutorial. I just wanted to mention it. Um, okay, so let's take this top lip and I'm gonna take that point there and I'm going to try and create some kind of a scowl. Uh, let's bring this down. I'll bring this side down a little bit. I think it's probably fair to say let's move this back to surface so I can take this lip by lip and just close this mouth down a little bit like so maybe that point there um, and I'm going to close this just a touch more this side okay take that point there bring this down and I think with this near the middle just to that side maybe would probably come up a touch too, like so. And possibly outwards just a little bit. And that one there. Okay, so this is my first shape done. So if I, let's just go to object mode and you can see we have a variation on a theme. We still have the same amount of vertices, polygons, edges, all that kind of stuff is exactly the same, but they've moved when it comes to kind of comparing to this original shape. So let's do something for this one. That was the sneer. So we're going to do grumpy. So I'm going to do the same kind of thing. Uh, this time I'm going to turn on symmetry. And I think we'll do object X. 
which should allow us to let's start off by we'll go back into volume mode and we're going to lift the center up a little bit like so and then I'm going to take these outer edges bring them down that looks okay and go back to surface mode let's zoom in so I can see what I'm doing a bit more clearly bring them down those down there just a little bit then I have a slightly petulant bottom lip so I'm going to bring that out and up bring this up too but too not, not too much I don't want to kind of make him look too pouty now you could go in and you could you know if there were eyes and nose and furrows to a browse to furrow that kind of thing you could do that too but I'm, I'm not going to worry about it here um, what I am going to do is turn off my symmetry um, because I do find especially when people are pulling faces that you get a little bit of asymmetry involved so I'm just going to change this up to say two so I have a slightly bigger sphere of influence and I'm going to just grab the one side of the jaw just a little bit I'm going to do something similar over here because I think the jaw would probably be moving a little bit with a sneer as well so let's increase this to maybe 2.6 and just shift that across just a little bit uh, I want to grab one of these points here just to kind of move that over okay so now we have our objects and what we want to do is you select I'll do these one at a time so you can see the process um, so I'm going to select my first duplicate followed by holding shift and just clicking on the original and you always click on the original last and as you can see the best way of telling you've got it in the right order is that the original should be green and your copy should be highlighted white so we'll do that and then we'll come up to deform and blend shape I'll just click on the box so you can see the options so we have some settings here and the defaults are actually pretty good now there are times when you might want to have an in-between uh, which would give you kind of a you would need a second piece of geometry so if there was an eyeball and an eyelid let's just rotate this around so if you imagine an eyelid there rather than so if you used a blend shape it would make a, a kind of a, a straight line the movement would animate closed kind of like that rather than rotating over uh, I hope that makes sense so if you have an in-between stage you can have a, a kind of much more natural smoother motion and it will take that in-between stage as the, the kind of the, the smoothing motion um, and that's when you would select more than one of these uh, together you, and you would do them in order so you would have the duplicate the in-between and then the original and then you would click this in-between oh, bring that in so then you would check this in-between box uh, and that would then work okay so advanced this is good for if you're using a, a model which is rigged with bones um, so you have a few op options here so uh, pre-deformation is good if you're using other kind of deformers and bones and things and because it means that your new position for the uh, the vertices let's just click create so I can shut this down um, will happen before the bones so that you can move your character around and the the new position of the these polygons and points will will stay relative to the the, the moving underlying mesh I hope that makes sense so if your character is walking and you still wanted him to change his expression that would work by using pre deformer okay let's take this one and hold down shift and click the original let's go to blend shapes uh, so deform create blend shape um, I'm going to keep those same settings so I'm just going to hit blend shape like so and there you have it so let's just take these two and let's zoom out and blend move them out of the way just so they're not kind of blocking our view and I'm going to bring this face over to the side and then I can go to Windows and Animation Editors. And if we go to the Shape Editor, this is actually where we control our blend shapes. So here you can see 
we have two blend shapes. And if we want to edit them, we can do that by clicking on the button. But all I'm going to do is just show you how this works. So let's zoom in to an area where you can see the mouth more clearly. And I'm going to take this first one, which you know we could rename if we want to. I'm not going to for the purpose of this video, but if you're doing many, it's a very good idea to rename as you go. But I can use that slider and you can see that he sneers and it's not an on off. It's not a binary option. Uh, you have, you know, anywhere from zero to a hundred percent or zero to one in the, the Maya terminology. And the same with blend shape number two, which is our grumpy. So you can see middle of his bottom lip goes up and uh, the corners come down as he's just kind of been a bit grumpy. Now, if you wanted to, and this is where blend shapes are really quite useful, you could have a bit of a sneer and a bit of grump or a lot of grumpiness and a bit of sneer and that really lets you kind of just animate some character into your into your characters so you get some real personality so you you can kind of offset each other with these things here and when you want to animate it's a simple job all you need to do is let's make sure we're at frame zero and i'm just going to keyframe these so i'm just clicking in the circles there to add a keyframe Let's move forward to a second and let's make him grumpy. So I'm going to go 100% grumpy and a keyframe. Um, and then let's go forward to, let's say, frame 50. Uh, I'm going to keyframe my sneer all the way on and maybe my grumpiness down a little bit. And then I'm going to step back maybe to frame 35 and have my sneer at zero keyframe that and that just means that it's not a really long transition from frame 25 right up to frame 50 for the, the 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 sneer to happen it'll be just a little bit quicker so i can shut this window down now and if i press play uh, my playback rate is obviously far too quick so i'll just scrub through for you like that so a bit grumpy and then the sneer happens and you can see that it's pretty realistic motion uh, the transition between the two expressions isn't isn't bad at all not not for the kind of 10 minutes it's taken to do this recording and video and trying to explain myself as well. So that's a little look at blend shapes and how they work, how to use them, and a kind of a quick overview of how to animate using them as well. And they're a really powerful tool, and most software has them. Um, they might be called something different, uh, like lots of software calls them, you know, morphs or uh, pose mixer, all sorts of names, but. Um, most software caters to this kind of a use. Myers is a particularly elegant solution. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. Thanks very much. I've been Rob Redman. Goodbye.